Hey, is everybody excited for TED today? I said, is everybody excited for TED today? Awesome. So now, my name is Jasper, and now that you know me, um, ma'am, why don't you just stand up? You? Yeah, you. <laughs> All right. Now, on three, everybody across from her, I want you to take your hand and hit your thigh, like that. One, two, three. Awesome, that was great. Now just remember that. So why don't you stand up now? You? Mm -hmm. Okay, he's your leader. So on three, everybody across from him, I want you guys to clap. One, two, three. Awesome. So now what we're gonna do is combine those things into one. So like this. You guys think you can do that? Awesome. Okay. So on three, let's just all do it together. One, two, three. Nice. Now just follow my lead. One, two, three. Awesome. Give yourself a round of applause. That was amazing. Do you guys know what we just did? We just made a beat. And did you guys feel the connection you had with the other people around you? Because I know I did. So why was that 30 second routine so powerful? It's because of our hearts. Yes, our hearts. So besides being the most important organ in all of our bodies and all that stuff, what else do our hearts have? A beat. A heart beat. <laughs> so the heart is the organ that keeps us from dying and the beat is the organ that connects us to the universe think about it we all know meditating right Om. do you guys even know what om means though me neither but i did some research and it means universe so when people are doing yoga and zoning out they say om to align with the universe Saying OM also connects with the rhythm because when you say it, the sound vibrates at 432 hertz, the same vibrational frequency found in all things throughout nature. So OM is the basic sound and beat of the universe. And saying it connects us rhythmically to everything and everyone in this world, calming us and keeping us healthy. It's just like this practice called shamanism. The shamans practice drumming, chanting, and connecting with the spiritual dimension. If that doesn't make any sense, let me explain. Say if you were sick to the shamans, it meant you weren't aligned with the universe. They would then drum and chant a certain beat and the rhythm would realign you. Beatboxing for me is my own. It centers me with the universe and it helps me relax. Beatboxing is an imitation of drums through the mouth. Some people call it vocal percussion, but beatboxing has evolved from just imitating the basic drum sounds into creating some awesome new sounds. The two main styles of beatboxing are technicality and musicality. Technicality can be really fast and is what most street performers use. There's this thing called a TK, which is the main ingredient to a technical beat. And is between the kick and the snare. And the TK sounds like So all together, the beat would go something like Thank you. Musicality beats have this sound that sounds like a synthesizer. Music, people who use this style often sing while beatboxing. Now, I used to play trombone, and on that trombone, I just played music from this skinny little book that was written by somebody else. When I played it, I just played somebody else's beat. But when I play music from my body, through the instrument of myself, I'm listening to and giving voice to my own beat. Another thing that I learned from playing the trombone is that when you play an instrument, you as a performer are putting your soul into it. The instrument is outside of yourself. But when I beatbox, my body is the instrument and the soul is inside of me. And when I beatbox, I am the one who does it. I am the one who decides what sounds I will use and I am the one who decides how it will sound. 
I think the most important reason why I like beatboxing is because I've never, ever read off of the paper and copied it. I mean, half the time, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just waving my arms around and spurting out random sounds. I guess what I'm saying is that beatboxing is my way to let go and feel free. I connect with the beat of my soul and sync it up with the beat of the universe. When I give voice to that expression, when I give voice to that expression, it is only mine, but somehow also part of everyone and everything outside of me too. In losing myself in the beat I hear, I somehow find myself anew. And this beat isn't just in me, it's in you. It's in this room, it's everywhere. Just listen for it. Thank you.